Hello, I'm back again with another of my favourite unusual fruits because I've got lots of favourites that are not that unusual. And uh, this is it. It's called Akebia quinata. It's a climber. Obviously, you can see it's a climber. It's considered it potentially invasive in some parts of the UK. Um, I've not, dis not really perceived it to be quite like that. And in fact, all you need to do to remove it is to cut it off at the base. Uh, it's a twining climber, it will go up things, and it's perfect because we're close to the coast on a hillside, it's pretty windy, and it will tolerate these kind of conditions. So you can see it's very happy. In fact, what we've got here is two different varieties of Akebia quinata, and that's for a good reason. Now, I grew this many years ago with a former partner, 25 or so years ago, and we never got any fruit. So this is a a plant that appears in a book called Plants for a Future by Ken Fern, which I bought many, many years ago. And we grew it and it was very beautiful. It makes lovely flowers, so beautiful red, ready purple flowers. And it basically, it flowered and it never fruited. And we never really understood that. And then about 15, 20 years later, I discovered that probably every plant that was being sold in the UK was propagated from one plant and so there was never any pollination, pollinization. And so what we have here is two different varieties. So on this side, the really vigorous one, this is the standard um, chocolate vine. And on the other side is the variety called Akebia quinata alba. And that's important because without the pollination, you don't get the fruit. And the fruit is very weird. And uh, there's one here. This is an immature fruit. We've got a couple up here, which are just starting to change color and uh, they might be ready. I mean, it's amazing how quickly they go from being really hard to being ready. But the one that is ready is down here. And what happens is it splits open and reveals the seeds and the pulp on the inside and what I'm going to do is cut this off. So as fruits go, this one is pretty weird. And uh, apparently the seeds are quite bitter and you're not really meant to eat those. They're not so great. But the pulp is delicious and it's described a bit like ice cream. A sort of an ice cream vanilla-y flavour. Um, so yes, it's a bit of an interesting eat because I always use a spoon and you, I mean, it just looks inside like you could sleep in it. It's this beautiful padded thing with these pulpy seeds inside and you just suck the pulp off the seeds and then you spit them out. So I'm going to do that <laughs> off camera because otherwise it could look a bit messy. But uh, I highly recommend these. Interestingly, they're both supposed to pollinate each other, the varieties but we only up to now have got fruit on this one. And I think perhaps this is, this is a less vigorous variety. And when I've seen them side by side in other places, that's also been the case. Um, I think that this one behind flowers slightly earlier. And so perhaps this one, by the time it's flowering, it's getting some pollen from the other variety, but not the other way around. So after five years, we get fruit on this one. We've got about 12 this year. Um, and if they all get to be this big, that'll be great. But over here, the more vigorous variety actually hasn't fruited yet. So anyway, Akebia quinata, get more than one variety if you want fruit, but it's very interesting fruit. I think it's delicious and I highly recommend it.